Well, every time a James Bond movie comes out, of course, there's a huge upsurge in interest in our product. Every young man and every adult man wants to be James Bond. And the fact is that you can come into Spycatcher and you can see the real equipment. Often some of the stuff being shown in the movies is an exaggeration of what's feasible, but usually there's an element of truth in it. Through here is our secure warehouse. We keep a lot of products in here that are designed for the public, but a lot of them are also designed for news reporters that suddenly have to go off to a, an area of conflict. We keep the chemical agent detection paper, we keep decontamination powder, we keep a full range of gas masks, we even keep atropine pens in case there's a nerve agent attack. Then we have a large number of recording devices. For example, this 13 amp plug has got a recording module in it. That's the microphone in there. We do have people that come in and ask for things that are completely impractical and don't exist. We had a rash of customers that came in last year that wanted um, x-ray glasses. They thought they were glasses that would allow you to see through people's clothing. We have a range of torches. Now, the reason we stock so many torches, apart from the fact that people use them in everyday life, a lot of the torches we sell are actually ultra powerful. Uh, in the UK, it's very difficult to, to buy any product for self-defense. What people use the torches for is, if they're attacked, they shine it at their attacker and it can close down the iris for up to 30 seconds to give them a chance to get away. Once uh, a little old lady, about 80 years old, came in and asked if she could try on a bulletproof vest. And it was about five or six hundred pounds and she said, yes, I'll take it. And as she was leaving the shop, she looked round. She had a very cheeky grin on her face. She said, I bet you want to know why I want this. So we said, well, we were interested. She said she was an avid gardener and there's a train track that runs by the side of her garden. And every time a train goes by, it used to throw up pebbles. So she bought a bulletproof vest to protect herself. So, you know, people, people find most unusual uses for our equipment.